So, more recently, I seen an interview with Damon Dame Dash, and he's doing the interview with. I don't know the name of the show, so I can't say it, but it's my man. Um, it's my man from MOP. He got a podcast now. Uh, the producer. Um, Damn, why I can't think of his name? It began with an L, I think. It's, it's Fame, Billy Dance, Fox. Damn, I can't think of his name. Anyway, Dame, Dame is a... Uh, doing the interview with these dudes. Um, now, it ain't DR, period. Uh, it's another producer. Uh, Lays, I think his name is Lays. Is it Lays? Somehow, I can't think. Whatever. But uh, you'll see it. Uh, Dame is in the Bronx in this uh, video. So if you're looking for it, you'll know that that's the one. Right? Um He's on the interview with them, and you know, somehow Big's name came up. And the dudes, uh, Lays, I think it's Lays. Um, he said, Yeah, man, shout out to Biggs. And then Dave says, No, no, shout out to Biggs. He's suing me. And they like, whoa, wait, wait, what, what, what? So I see this myself. I go look at it. Now I don't know why Biggs is suing them. I'm gonna I, I'm I'm gonna say that. <laughs> but however, I'm I'm gonna look up the lawsuit. I'm not sure why he's suing Dane. But to me, it don't even matter. It don't matter. Is he doing it because Jay's suing Dane too? Probably a strong possibility. To make JK stronger, two out of the three employees is, I mean, two out of the three partners is going against one. Now, let me tell you why this bothers me. I've been around Damon Biggs for years. I don't think nobody at the time when I was working with Dane spent more time with Dane than me. I probably spent more time with him than his kids, you know, with the traveling and documenting everything. So I know Biggs and Dane's relationship very well. Big's talent was hanging around. Big's talent was doing whatever Dane dictated to him. No disrespect, but Big's wasn't the smartest person out of the three. That's a fact. Jay's smarter than Biggs. 
Dame smarter than Biggs. Now, I know for a fact that they was trying to get rid of Biggs. Leo's, the Jays, you know, Jay definitely wanted to get rid of Biggs. He got tired of splitting his money three ways, and Biggs wasn't doing nothing, according to Jay, for him to still be down. Dame is still running the daily operations on all the companies, from Rockaway, excuse me, to Rockefeller, to America Magazine, to Dash Films, to Rockefeller Films. State property, dip set. He's he's made he's running every, everybody's situations. Biggs is doing whatever Dame tell him to do. Biggs is not going out there signing no artists on his own. He's not out there looking for talent on his own. He's just shadowing Dame every goddamn where we go, every country we go. Every state we go, he is ego to Frankenstein or Dr. Frankenstein. Yes, Dane. Yes. Yes, Dane. Where we go next, Dane? Yes, Dane. You know, that that that's Biggs. Yes, Dane. Yes. Where you want to go next, Dane? Yes. You know, so Dane was teaching. Biggs the game. Dame was, I mean, Biggs was learning the game by observation. Now, the reason why Biggs was there initially is because they all put their drug money together and was hustling together to get things going. So this is why Dame is like, yo, I can't believe this dude taking me to to court when we sold drugs together. I'm going to come back to the drug thing in a minute. Because to me, that's partially irrelevant to the fact that, you know, he's suing y'all for business. If Biggs would have listened to Dame in the beginning or in the 90s. He would have more money. For Artelia, thank you, baby. Um, He would. Hold on, let me get my thoughts together. Because I ain't take notes for this because I don't need notes for this. They all started Rockefeller together, all right, from drug money. We're going to go back for the drug money, and we're going to come back up. Let's just talk business right now. They launched the label maybe 94, 95, 96, somewhere down there, right? By the time 2005 came around, it was dead. They had 10 years to do whatever they wanted to do with Rockefeller. And they did the best they did, they could do. And, and Jay, you know, took the company and ran with it and, you know, or whatever. When Rockefeller was successful, they decided to do another company called Rock Aware, which they would turn around and make more money doing Rock Aware than they was doing with Rockefeller Records. Dane goes to Jay-Z. He said, yo, we're going to start a clothing line called Rock Aware. You putting it? 
Jay said, hell yeah. Dang goes to Biggs. Yo, we saw in the clothing line. Core Rockaway. Jay's down. You down? You putting in? Nah. That's corny. Ask Dame if you think I'm lying. Big so Dame and Jay, that Rockaway idea was corny. So what happens? They said, okay. So Jay and Dane put their money together. They get with the Russians, Alex and them. And they do rock with. What did Jay turn around and say? Rock with 80 mil in just 18 months. Who missed out on that bag? Because it was corny. 